Hello everyone. Today's video is about moving the turtle bot. This is slightly different than what we have seen in earlier videos. What we'll be doing is we'll be moving the turtle bot around using a CPP file. That is, we'll use action lib, we'll use the action client and action server to get and send data. So if you don't know what an action is, we have a separate video on that and I have added a link to it. Please have a look at that. So let's get into it. I'm going to close this off. And the first thing which we need to do is inside the Catkin workspace, you need to create a new package. So to create the package, we'll have different kind of dependencies when we're talking about actions. So let's say catkin create package, then the package name, let's give the package name um, move turtle bot. Um, let's say move underscore turtle bot and then there are three dependencies needed. The first one is the move base dependency. Okay, so the move base messages are needed basically to understand what is the data structure. Basically, the move base messages gives us a data structure which has the frame ID, then target position, that's all things we just will extract it. In some cases for actions, you might have to create a new message type, just like we do in services. Then the next one is action lib. And the third one is ROS CPP. Okay, we'll do cat can create package. So our package is created right now. It's inside move turtle bot SRC. So the next thing which we'll be doing is basically make the CPP file. So for now I have a CPP file which I've pre-made but I'll go over it in the next part of the video. I'm going to rename it as move turtle bot. You can basically name it according to what is the name of your package. I like to keep it very simple just similar for this case so that you don't get confused while editing the cmakelist.txt. And what I'll do is inside um, my file, I'm going to edit the name of the node as well because again, I want to keep it same to what my package is so that I don't make mistakes while editing the CMake list. So now once you have the CMake list, uh, you have the package ready, the CPP packet file, you need to edit the CMake list. There are two parts in editing the CMake list. Basically, first you have to add the executable. The next is basically setting the target properties. So let's add the add executables. So you'll add this here and then what you need to give is, you can see here you have to give the project name. So project name is basically the folder name, the directory name that is move underscore turtle bot. So you get it directly here, right? You get it and then the next part would be the location of the node here so okay you can just copy paste this I'm gonna copy paste this and here and I'm gonna change the name is move, move underscore turtle bot right you can again you can set whatever you want but make sure you edit the CMake list accordingly the next thing is setting the target properties so for that, we'll do target link libraries, basically linking whatever you have. And then you do give the move turtle bot, that's your folder name. And then simply catkin libraries. This should be it. I'm going to save it and what I'm going to do is go out of this catkin workspace. I'm going to do source devil setup.bash. 
you need to do this because you want to make sure that you are getting the correct environment variables and now you are making the uh, package so now you get that move the build target move turtle bot has been correctly made this means that whatever changes you have done in your cmake list and whatever changes you have added have been done perfectly now the only part is left is basically executing the cpv file but before that we'll understand what is written in the cpp file and what all changes you can make according to the need you have so let's go into it i have the move turtle bot dot cpp opened up and it's present inside my src folder under the move turtle bot package which we just created so if you know that the action client basically needs the message and the message type which is going to access we are going to use the message type move phase underscore messages and then we have the action lib being type defined and the next part is basically defining the move turtle bot node um, you can change it according to whatever you want to have you then tell the action client that we want to spin a thread by setting it true so that you don't need a ros dot spin uh, if you set it to false then you will need it the interesting part over here is this two lines it says that it's waiting for move base action server to come up this means that we don't have to make our own action server that's being taken care of the by the move base node written in our amcl with move base launch file okay so if you don't uh, launch that file um you will be stuck in here and you'll not be able to run this file okay then you define the goal which has a type of move base messages and you name it move base goal and the next part is this interesting things this are present in your message type your message type goal which is now on based on move based messages will have target pose and target pose will have a header the header has two things the frame id and the stamp the stamp is simply just the time and the frame id is map because you are understanding that your base is present on the map then you have the pose and it has pose dot x pose dot y and pose dot w which is its rotation part and uh, this are being set by this particular vector which contains float values then we do is we send the goal using the client name which we have given and we send it this is a predefined method and you send in the goal which you defined over here and you wait for its result and then after you wait for the result you just do sleep for 5 seconds because what it will do is basically it will go at this first position wait for 5 seconds and then check if it is at that position it'll say it succeeded else the base failed to move forward and then again it'll do this okay it's pretty simple now let's go into it and run it and see what we get so to launch it we'll basically launch first thing is our world that is gazebo and then press enter the next part is we'll open the rvis let's open rvis we'll do is using the view underscore navigation dot launch we have talked about it in earlier videos have a look if you're confused about this okay will await to seconds okay then the next part is launching our inside catin workspace will launch our amcl with move base so i'll do source first don't forget to source and do ros launch turtle bot 
underscore tutorials and we have amcl with move base dot launch and yes it's running fine now i think our rvis should have all the values perfect no errors in rvis again and your robot is at zero 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 now we'll launch our tut move turtle bot node so we'll do ross run so basically when you want to run a node and you don't have a launch file you can directly do ross run in the package name which is move underscore turtle bot and then again the node name that is move underscore turtle bot let's see it's giving you sending goal let's see in gazebo okay it is going let's see in arvis you see this line here which is being made now it's going to some position let's see what position it is but before that we'll wait if it we'll see if it waits for five seconds it is correct and now so it's went to minus two zero 1.57 and then 0, 0, 1.57. Let's see. Okay, yes, it came back to its original position where it started from, if you see. Okay, pretty simple, right? And uh, yeah, so if you want to change any position, you can go ahead and change it. If you want to add new position, you can just go ahead and add in this format here and uh, make sure when you add it, you change your the number or you can simply do goals dot size anything what you want you can go ahead and make changes you can change if you want to wait or not you can change what you're printing anything feel free and i'm gonna link this down below if you have any questions please let us know in the comment section below till then keep watching robometrics